Welcome to the next instalment of the newly titled Off The Charts. In this episode, we ask if we have nothing to fear except fear itself. The volatility index is often abbreviated to the VIX by investors. Sensationalists often describe it as the fear index. But what does it measure exactly? Well, it is calculated using the price of options on the S&P 500. So in effect, measuring the volatility of the US stock market. Very simplistically, if the VIX is going up, it's likely that the US stock market is falling. But if the VIX is going down, then the US stock market is considered stable. This is represented by the red lines on the graph. Now, if we look at the rate of interest set by the US Federal Reserve since 1990 and push it forward by two years, as represented by the blue lines on the graph, we can observe a relationship with the VIX. Interestingly, during periods when monetary policy tightens, or more simplistically, when interest rates are rising, we can see the VIX spiking, as you can see from the orange arrows. This intuitively tells us something that we already know. That is, interest rates work with a long lag, indeed a two-year lag to be specific. Based on this observed relationship, it's possible that the VIX could spike from here. In turn, this would be likely to send the US stock market lower. In our first video this year, we asked the age-old question on recession forecasting. Are we nearly there yet? Six months later in our multi-asset portfolios, we think it's important to keep asking this question, even if it does frustrate the parent in the front seat. Thank you.